The microphone is on, you know that, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, give a big applause for Finn Wolfart! It's so good to have you here, man. How are you? It's um, great. Jet lag, it hurts, but it's gr I'm doing great. Yeah. Well, how long was the flight? Because like, I, I flew from Vancouver to London, which is like nine hours, and then another hour here. But um, I'm doing good. I'm really happy I'm here. Okay, yeah, well, it's so good to have you. Yeah. We have a huge line behind the audience microphone, so I think we'll just nice. dive right into it. Yeah. Um, so, hello. First question. Hello. Hi. Um, my question is, um, how did you feel when you started to become famous after the first season of Stranger Things was released? I feel, f I feel weird. I still feel weird. Um, it's like very... Um, very new still for me. I don't think it'll ever be get, you know, kind of old, but uh, I don't know, I have a lot of fun doing this stuff, and uh, as long as I get to keep acting, then I'm good, but yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my question is, um, which scene from It was the m most fun to film? Ooh. Um... The most fun scene to film in it was, I mean, probably just all the improv stuff with like Jack and Wyatt and Jeremy and so the far, like behind the pharmacy was fun and like just kind of, kind of every scene was really fun. I mean, the only, th the only scenes that were like not, gr you know, not the best to work on just because you're in a tiny little, it's probably, you know, when, when he comes out of the fridge and that was a tiny little room in like the dead of summer in Toronto and it was like the most humid place. Um, but yeah, the, the improv stuff was great. Thank you. Hi. Hey, um, what was the most difficult scene to film in season two of Stranger Things? Oh man, I mean, Getting, I, getting the timing down is always kind of hard because some, you know, we, we have to pass around dart in one scene, and that's kind of hard to do considering you're acting with nothing. Mm -hmm. um, you're just kind of looking at this kind of metallic ball that they put like visual effects on later. But um, I mean, yeah, th those were hard. And then the surprisingly, there's a scene where I like freak out on David Harbor in the last episode. And that was like one of the easiest, just because we we knew from the very beginning we were like the Duffers kind of hinted at it, like oh you're gonna beat up Hopper, like you're gonna freak out, and so the so for like six months we were just gearing up to do it, and David was like actually just hit me when we do it, actually hit me, and so we were really ready once we did it, um, and that was surprising how like how much shorter it took because it's there's only like three shots in that whole scene, but yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. Hi, um, uh, what about school? How do you combine um, learning for school and acting for Stranger Things? If uh, nobody heard that question, it was um, how do I do school? Like how do I mix kind of acting and, and school together? Um, I don't, I mean my, my school is awesome and super accommodating and I could never find a school like that. Um, there's a really, they have a good like online program and the teachers are very attentive and send work to me. So really while I'm gone, kind of like on the road, I guess, they just email me work, like a list of stuff to do. They're just like, this is what you need to do the past, you know, your grade. And um, I think that's really great. And it makes it easy for me to like graduate. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Hi, Hi. Finn. Hello. Woo. Before my <laughs> Sorry, that's my German hello. How was it? Cool. Cool. Before my question, I know you have your birthday soon, so yeah. happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, 15. Woo. What an amazing age. So old. 
What's better, 14 or, so, thank you. What's, who, so anyone, raise your hand if you're like over the age of 16. <laughs> awesome, what's, what's a better age, 15 or 16? I just wanna hear you guys say so. 15. <laughs> wow, I heard all 16, so I am in for a terrible ride. Um, thank you guys, this is really nice of you. So my question is, what was the funniest moment of making Stranger Things? The funniest moment, right? Yes. Yeah. The f oh, the funniest. Um, all, all of the scenes where, where the whole cast is together in that, in that tiny Byers house, the mm -hmm. um, Joyce Byers' house, and it's like me and Joe Keery and Charlie Heaton and Gaten, and like that's just a deadly combination because everyone... We just crack each other up so easily, and it's also insanely hot in there. And we shoot for like nights too, so we shoot from like from like 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. And like, so we're all just loopy and going insane in this tiny little house. So hopefully there'll be like a Stranger Things season two, like blooper reel one day, um, and you can just see the madness that goes on. <laughs> Was there ever a scene that you had to like replan or reschedule because you would keep cracking up? Or it well, maybe not like reschedule, but definitely delay. Yeah. There's a lot of delays because Charlie Heaton was laughing too hard. Because actually, literally, there's a there's a line that Joe Keery has where he says uh, the Germans, and he and and Gaten is like, what? And so and every time he'd say the Germans, Charlie would just start cracking up because of his delivery. And it was nonstop laugh, like we could not stop laughing. And David Harbour came to a point where he was like, if you're not gonna stop laughing, then leave the room. And all of us were like, Shh, whoa, all right, we should probably stop, he's mad. But yeah, that was probably the funniest. Thanks, Thanks for your question. Thank you, yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, Hello. First of all, I want to give you this little present. Oh, thank you. Got a present. Oh, it's chocolate. Thank you. I uh, have tried some German chocolate, and it's delicious. And thank you so much. Um, so my question is, um, if you could play any role in any movie, um, which one would it be? Oh man, that's a hard one. If I ever, ever, ever since I was like nine or eight, I've always wanted to play um, teenage Kurt Cobain in a biopic oh. and like bleach my hair blonde. <laughs> and I still kind of have that, like I can't cut my hair eight months out of the year because I have to keep it like straight, like Mike Wheeler hair. And one day I just want to like shave it or bleach it just to tell it like, you're mine. <laughs> um, but yeah, one day. Um, you'll see something on my Instagram, like, you'll just be like, okay, um, let's see ads. Oh, Finn dyed his hair blue. That's weird. Um, and then you'll keep scrolling. So, yeah, I'll do something crazy one day. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello. So, oh, <laughs> I really love your music. Thank you. And how did your band called Bernia start it? Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a great question. If no one heard, I mean, did, did everyone hear it? Were you all good? Thumbs up? Okay, I see your hands. Um, I have a band called Calpurnia, um, and um, we met, I actually met the drummer, he's an actor too, and we both met on a film set for a music video. And I played bass at the time, and so him and I started like jamming together and playing instruments. And then um, we, there was this camp, like summer camp, where you can go and learn how to write songs and, and uh, use, you know, like editing software for, for music and stuff. So I met the guitarist Ayla there, and she was like, uh, like a pro, she's like a prodigy. And so I was like, man, we need to get this girl like in our band. Like we need to jam with this girl. And then uh, so I've, I've been like playing music with them for like four years. And then Jack, our bassist, came into the picture because I did a, uh, a uh, what do you call it, a fundraiser in Los Angeles for um, a charity. And it was just a bunch of bands coming through and playing 80s covers. And I was like, man, I need a band. And um, I needed a bassist. And Jack 
I'd only met Jack once, so I said, um, can you maybe, can we hang out with Jack once and see, or I just called him. I was just like, hey, I have this weird thing. I know I've never met, I've only met you once, but will you just come in, to LA with me and play bass in my band? And then from there, it was, yeah, it was great. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Hi, Hi which is your favorite character of the show? Oh, man. Probably Nancy. I think Nancy's probably my favorite character just because, like, you can tell that she's such a complicated character and she's still going through phases. Like, she's very, um, I, I like, one day she's just going to go rogue or something. But she's a, she's a great character, and I love Jonathan, too. And I think Jonathan's a great character, and I think he has a lot of layers to him. And I think deep down he's a really like badass character um but very sweet too and kind of consolidating and um yeah i love those two characters they're great and they're great together too so thank you yeah hi hi um, hi since like you have a band um and you recently recorded something with them i was wondering if in the next years you want to focus on acting or if you prefer playing music okay um, oh man, I don't think, I, I'm just going to do both. I, I'm not going to focus on like one thing more than the other. I, um, like I'm, but, you know, it's, it's cool like, and like to give quick advice for people, like for younger people, just like do as much as you can and like you don't have to rush into it or anything, but if you're feeling passionate about something, do as much as you can before you're an adult because you grow faster at your craft and you get better at it quicker and uh, it gets you more opportunities in the future. And that's kind of what I've been doing is that I've just gone for broke. Like why, for me, it's, it, I've always wanted to make movies, like direct movies. And I was just like, why do I have to wait until I'm an adult to direct a movie? I'll just direct a movie. Um, so I directed a music video and then now I'm writing a TV show. So it's like, very weird and like super like in a way kind of arrogant to be like start early then you'll be fine but you know I'm I'm just lucky and I think you guys should like totally if you're into art and stuff start early I guess of course hi hi my question is do you plan on touring with your band anytime soon tour um. <laughs> like, 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 play around the world and stuff. Yes. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, like tour. Um. Yeah, I mean, it. it the thing is, is that like our schedules are my schedule. It's uh, the other band. The other band members are like in school, so you know they're studying and stuff, and I'm like always constantly traveling, so it's kind of hard for us to lock down dates for shows, but. We're playing a show in New York next month, and then um, we're going to start playing festivals in the summer. Um, when I'm, you know, off of Stranger Things and stuff, when I get breaks, I'll just go and play shows. And maybe, do you guys have festivals in Germany? Of course, yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely come to a festival in Germany. Um, yeah. We're, we're really excited. And, like, we're, we're, we just started mixing, actually. We, like, we just started editing the music and... Um, it's coming out like in the next couple months, so I really hope you guys like it. But yeah, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. So my question is. Uh, Could you speak into yeah. the microphone, please? <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Uh, so my question is, with whom is it most fun um, to shoot with in Stranger Things, and why? With whom is it the most fun to shoot Stranger Things, right? Yes. And why? Okay. This is a hard one, <laughs> and I'm gonna leave people out because I usually don't do this, but today I'm going to. Okay, so video camera's off. Yeah, guys, come on. <laughs> Put on your phones, live in the moment. Um, I mean, the most fun I've had shooting is definitely with, like, Dad Steve. Like, just me and Gaten and Caleb and Sadie uh, with, with Joe, Kiri. Those are the most fun because we all, not only do we all get along insanely well, but like I, I think our acting together is super good because we all trust each other like insanely well and we've just known each other for so long. 
and uh, we all know how to push each other's buttons. And so I think that's those are some of the best scenes in all of like the stuff with Gaten and Steve, or like Gaten and Joe are just like gold. Like I don't know how, and they wrote that storyline in the middle of the season. Like they, when we started filming, they had like we had no idea where these two characters were gonna end up. And what happened was is they're like, oh man, like because they write the show as we go along, as we shoot. Um, no one writes it ahead of time. You sort of write it just so you can build and stuff for the characters. And um, so Matt and Ross Duffer are like, oh man, Gaten's alone. Like Dustin's alone. Who is he gonna? He doesn't have anyone. And then we're, they're just like, oh wait, what would Steve be doing right now? We haven't seen Steve in a while. And he's like, yeah, he'd probably just be crying in his room. We can't have him in there. Like he's just heartbroken because of Nancy. And then they're like why don't we put these two characters together because they're both kind of alone and lost. Um, and it ended up just being the most, like, the best thing of the season, but yeah. Thank you. Um, so we're going to do one more question because we're all out of time. I'm sorry to disappoint all of you, but, but that's just... Sorry. <laughs> sorry, just one more question. Hi. Um, first of all, thank you to be here and I think I'm not the only one to say this, but you're one of the most beautiful person I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. Like, r like Brad Pitt? No. No, you. Sexiest man alive, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> wow, thank you, I'm so flattered. You know what, I just wanted to get this out of the way. This is the best Comic-Con experience I've ever had in my life. I've, I've had, I, I've, I've had, I've been to other Comic-Cons, but like no other audience and like people that come up to my table has been the most respectful and the most like nice and quiet and just the most flattering and told me the best. And like, thank you so much for everything. Um, but yeah, I'm really flattered. What's, um, what's the question? <laughs> So what is it for you to be like 14 because I'm in your age and I can't imagine to be an actor and be in a band and be on comic cons and how is it for you? How do you, how do you manage this? That's a great question. Um, first of all, let me just point my attention over there. They're playing Quidditch. They're, yeah, they are actually <laughs> playing Quidditch. You're doing great, guys. Um, no, I mean, yeah, being, it's, it's, like I said earlier, starting early, like, it just helps. I mean, I, I started late, I guess, when child actors start, they're usually just, like, thrown into it when they're a baby, and uh, none of the Stranger Things kids, like, ever, like, were bred to be actors. They were just normal kids, and then they were just like, I kind of like this, let's keep going, and so it just kind of escalated, and I'm still kind of learning about it, but... I think the biggest thing, and why like I'm successful, um, apparently, uh, is why is is just because the industry is changing and people are being more tolerant of younger people. And like Netflix sold a show to two 28-year-olds. Like who does that? Like Netflix does that. And uh, like people are just following Netflix's lead and being like, okay, well. Maybe we do have some young, like faith in younger people, and so they're taking younger people seriously, and I think that's great. And like everyone in this room has be, been like, you know, when you're a kid, no one you're like, yeah, you're a kid, like you can't do this, you can't do that, and it's like, well, I'm gonna do this, and like I don't care, and the industry's just gotten better, I think, and and less scumbags are coming through. And all the scumbags are going away, and sort of like it's just back to back people getting caught. It's just like sexual assault, and you're like, okay, that guy's gone. Th like, thank God. Like, we don't want him in our in our like industry. We want to be associated with that. And so the the bad people are finally going away, and you know you always have bad people, but I think it's just evolving into a better place. And I think I think everyone should just get into art and like have fun with it and um, yeah that's basically all I can say but thank you that's a great thank question you. bye
Thank you so much for being here. Thank and, you so much, uh, yeah. Thanks for being here with thank the you, family. Yeah. So. Big applause, ladies and gentlemen. Finn Wolfhart.